God does not send you on an errand or a walk he does not give you the appropriate to. If it is not appropriate and it is stressful, it is not God. Remember, fit, F-I-T. You need the yoke that is fit for that particular job to accomplish it. See, David, David K. Goliath. How do you think, why do you think David K. Goliath? Is it because he was stronger than Goliath? Eh? It's not that David was stronger than Goliath. It's that under the power of the Holy Spirit, whom I'm coming, by the way, you will discover that the yoke of the Lord upon you is even the Holy Spirit. We are coming. Under the influence of the Holy Spirit, when David was anointed, the Spirit of God came upon him. What the Holy Spirit gave him for that particular task of dealing with Goliath was not power. The Holy Spirit did not make David as strong or stronger than Goliath. No. What the Holy Spirit gave him was what? Wisdom. At that point in time, the yoke that was needed or that could be effective or that was fit for this particular job is wisdom. So you remember that Saul dressed David with his own armor. And the Bible says it was too what? Too heavy. Same thing with yoke those days. If the yoke is not normal, if it is too heavy for the cow, what will happen? The cow cannot walk. David said, take away this thing from me. I cannot. Uh... He could barely walk. He could barely walk. That was too heavy. And then he took um, stones. Sling. Why? From hair to toe, Goliath was covered. He was wearing all the armor. All the armor that rendered the conventional weapons of warfare those days useless. So, how you want to... In addition to covering himself, the Bible also said that somebody was also carrying his shield. So, you can't even reach him. Yeah, he will slaughter you. There was only one place, only one place that was open. Where? Because he had to look, Nancy. So they had to open there completely. This place was open. And what can penetrate there? Stone. So David has seen it. That is the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. That is the yoke or the tool, the device that could accomplish that work. It's not power. It's not right. That Sometimes God gives you a weapon tool that does not fit your own concept or your own imagination of what it should be. And that's why so many of us do not get the victory we are looking for because we have our own conception of what the weapon should be, but God is giving us what, what is appropriate at that moment. When Goliath saw David, what did he do? He felt insulted. Me, Goliath, catapult. This guy is coming to find me with catapult. He felt insulted. He did, David was not insulting. David was only choosing what was right for the battle. He felt insulted. He said, am I? Oh, God, I'm going to say, okay, don't worry. I didn't plan to, I plan to just kill you before, but now I will not only kill you, I'll give your body to the birds to eat you and stuff like that. David used stone. Sometimes you are looking for power. Sometimes you are looking for force. You are looking for energy. Meanwhile, what you need is simple what? Simple wisdom. Contrast David and Samson. Samson's, this thing was what? Raw strength. Raw power. He, he, he slaughtered 1,000 Philistine soldiers with bone. Bone, not even a normal weapon. Jaw bone of an ass. Raw power. Did he not slaughter a lion? Eh? Did he use stone? No. He slaughtered a lion. But David didn't need that. Goliath was more dangerous than a lion to the people of Israel. Then this something we are talking about with all his power, the Philistines tried to, they went with force. Did they succeed? How did they get him? Eh? Through what? What do you call a woman? A weaker? Did they go by force again? They went by seduction. But wait, the Bible did not even say something slept with the woman. All we know is that the woman walked her way into Samson's heart. Let's not assume what the Bible did not tell us. Uh, because some people will say, hey, Samson fell. Uh, for. The Bible has not told us that he slept with the woman. 
But what we just know is that the woman warmed herself into his heart and collected the pin that he shouldn't have told anybody, his ATM pin. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.